Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am, and today we are going to help out the Brotherhood of Steel. So without further ado, let's get started. Dance is over there. We'll talk to him in a minute. We're going to go into this safe lock picket. Got it. Now that the safe is here, we can get the guns and bullets magazine. The safe. Now that the Brotherhood of Steel is here, we can get the guns and bullets magazine. We'll stop the Institute. For Maxon and for the Brotherhood. Whatever you say, bud. Let's talk to Paladin Dance. Cavalry's arrived. And it looks like they sent in the big guns. That ship? I've never seen anything like it. Amazing, isn't it? We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war gonna be a quick war with that thing on our side that's the plan if history's proven anything it's that an overwhelming show of force has a chance of halting a conflict before it begins that being said you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal I've received orders that were both to report to her immediately follow me up to the roof of the police station we're going for a little ride let's raise paladin dance to the top because why not, right? If you run into any sense, shoot to kill. We don't take prisoners. We're gonna have a lengthy Verta Bird ride, so I might be a little silent. Paladin Dance has a few things to say. Let's go ahead and hop on. That minigun in front of you is loaded and ready to fire spot anything hostile during the flight I suggest you put it to good use make sure you properly identify your targets before you start shooting we don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the locals the Commonwealth looks different from up here doesn't it it never ceases to amaze me how drastically your perception of the battlefield changes from the air. We're gonna need that edge when we take on the Institute. They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority and tactical know-how will make the difference. Now all we have to do is find them. And I'm betting that Elder Maxon will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. everyone down there believed in our cause but they've been blinded by rumors and misinformation they don't realize that the Brotherhood of Steel is the Commonwealth's last hope for survival every man woman and child below is in mortal danger if we fail it's only a matter of time before the enemy overwhelms the population cleansing the Commonwealth is our duty and I will gladly spill my own blood if it ensures our victory On final approach to the airport. The Pridwin should be coming into view just ahead. We'll be meeting Lancer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions. We're not going to do much of the Brotherhood of Steel's quest line, um, just because I don't like them in Fallout 4. We're pretty much going to do the first like quest for them, and then that'll be it. We'll probably end up siding with the railroad um, overall.
almost to the Pridwin now. We'll be able to build right here once we side with the faction here in just a minute. If uh, you'd like to build a base over by the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty cool. soldier this is the moment when everything changes I hope you're ready We'll wait for Paladin Dance to get off, and then we'll hop off. Gets a little glitchy if we both try to hop off at the same time. Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted, and welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridwin and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Paladin. Excuse me, Captain Kells. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> You don't look much like a soldier to me. Looks can be deceiving. Which is precisely why I personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon is the Supreme Commander of the Brotherhood. Without his tenacity and his vision, We'd still be a small group of complacent stragglers, occupying the Citadel and the Capital Wasteland. In a mere decade, he's grown the Brotherhood of Steel into a major military force. He's an inspiration to us all. Is there anything else? Where can I get power armor? Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor. And you're no knight. Not yet. Until Elder Maxon grants you that title, you'll have to make do with what you've got. Anything else? I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Let's go to the command deck, like he wants us to. Welcome aboard. Elder Max is holding his... Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our myth beneath the Commonwealth. There is a cancer known as the Institute, a malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Synth. 
a robotic abomination of technology that is free thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Ad Victorium. Let's speak with Don't Elder Maxon. Situation guns blazing is a good way to get yourself killed. The human looking sense are the worst. They hide in plain sight. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. I can see that. They're playing with fire and we need to save them. Exactly. I just hope we're here in time. I refuse to allow the mistakes of the past to be repeated. Don't worry. I'm convinced. Paladin Dance's reports were quite clear regarding your feelings toward the Brotherhood. And he concludes... that you'd be an asset to us. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud. We're gonna go talk to Paladin Dance and uh, just meet everybody on the Pridwin. Status report. Green across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on, Knight. Congratulations on the promotion, Knight. Proctor Ingram said she needed this suit testing yesterday. Yeah, I get it. Just... What if I miss? Don't. Okay, sure. Firing. Everything holding together? Trust me. You'd know. Good. Uh, so how did firing. it look out there? We've got a lot of work ahead of us, right, brother. Right. Paladin. There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? Sure. Maxon seems so young compared to everyone else. You're okay with that? Don't let his age fool you. Maxon's a brilliant tactician, a formidable warrior, and possesses an idealistic vision for the future of the Brotherhood. I'd follow him anywhere, without question. Why are you so confident in his abilities? A decade ago, the Brotherhood had almost gone completely astray. The Elder before Maxon sent us down a path that was leading nowhere. He was more concerned about charity than the preservation of technology. But when Maxon took over, he single-handedly reprioritized the Brotherhood from the ground up and put us back on the path to glory. This ship and its crew are a testament to his leadership. I was very impressed with him. He seems to know what's best for everyone. Exactly. Without his determination, we'd be lost. I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. So what's all this about you being my sponsor? Elder Maxon is understandably particular when it comes to new recruits. He believes in order to keep the Brotherhood strong, we have to bond as brothers. As your sponsor, it's my duty to travel with you throughout the Commonwealth to ensure that our ideals are being observed. That's why I'm so concerned about your performance in the field. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. You can come with me or wait until I'm done. It's up to you. In that case, I prefer to tag along. If you change your mind, just let me know. Let's go meet everybody now. 
we're gonna uh, go to the doctor first. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? Sure. Go right ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? My father said I used to sit way too close to the television. The television? Wait a second. Let me check my notes here. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Honestly, I don't remember. Well, you don't appear to be suffering from any long-term ill effects, so I'll assume you haven't. Third question, and please answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? That happens often enough for you to have a question about it? You'd be surprised how many wastelanders answer yes to that question. Fortunately, the Brotherhood finds that type of behavior absolutely distasteful. Since you haven't spent too much time in the wasteland, I'll assume your answer is no. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Nope. No problem whatsoever. Excellent. You'll fit in quite well around here. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Ah, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. I think you're confusing me with someone else. Hmm. Perhaps I need to rummage through the supply bins for a new pair of glasses. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, Keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Let's go meet the last two people. My experience. There. Hot shots Try it now. Nothing. I'm supposed to report ten minutes so, ago. So you're the new yeah, recruit I heard about. Uh, not what I was expecting. <laughs> Sounds like you're disappointed. I'm not disappointed, just surprised. You don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Sounds like you have a pretty full plate. Plate? Hell, I have a whole table's worth of duties around here. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. Actually, you seem to be getting around really well. I suppose it's better than the alternative. Anyway, I'm sure you're here to get your hands on some power armor. There's a pretty decent T-60 suit sitting in Bay 3 that's all yours. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. Oh, and if you need any work done on it, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. I can't believe super mutants were human ones. How could science have gone so wrong? I'm not gonna bother picking up my uh, power armor. 
which is right over here. Um, cause I, I don't use power armor, but you're more than welcome to pick up some Brotherhood of Steel power armor if you'd like. Step forward, knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Why are you in there? I'm glad you asked. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. That's good to know. I'm glad you're the agreeable type. When I tell most of the new recruits that they have to buy their own equipment, they give me the stink eye. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. Caps on the side, huh? Doesn't sound like official military business to me. Well, it is, and it isn't. It's complicated. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. So, oh, for man. those of you I that want to Captain get some of those legendary items, he does sell some. Let's go back to Elder Maxon. And get our first mission. Our first and last mission for the Brotherhood of Steel. Let's loot this stuff real quick. You haven't lived until you've tipped a Brahmin with a vertebrate. Now that's a challenge. Tighten up the meter. Like that? Okay. <laughs> Now that you've familiarized yourself with the Pridwin's crew, are you ready for your next assignment, brother? Yes, Elder. Good. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there. Wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. Let's hop on the vertebrate. It's gonna bring us down to the airport and then we're gonna hop on another vertebrate because reasons. I don't know, it just doesn't make sense why um, we hop on this vertebrate to come down to the airport why? To then hop on another vertebrate to go to Fort Strong. Don't you think we should have just hopped on a vertebrate from the Pridwin? Just saying. I'll try not to overthink it too much. These guys are going to shoot at the vertebrate. Because they're, I guess, having target practice right next to the vertebrate I got to hop on to. Really bright um, initiates, I guess. I don't know what they are. They're, they're Brotherhood of Steel, though. Let's get airborne. Welcome aboard, Knight. Instruments are green, and we're cleared for release.
Target acquired. I'll try to keep him in your sights. So we're gonna have to kill this behemoth. But it should be easier because we have a mounted minigun on this vertebird. And just light him up. Maybe. This vertebird will, I don't know, go towards the behemoth? Oh, come on. Are we... I was about to say, are we really going to crash into another vertebrate? You guys suck! <laughs> Primary target down. Look at that thing bleed. I'm going to find a place to set her down. And then hightail it back to the Pridwin for repairs. You do that. There's a lot of super mutants over here. Overlord. I just didn't want to have to deal with him buffing up. Use some rat away real quick. I wonder if this is recent. Let's uh crouch and then we'll go inside. We have some more super mutants to take care of. Searching through it could prove beneficial. So boring. Ah. Ah. What is it? Aha, gotcha. By the way, um, the guy that wanted us to find technical documents, that's a repeatable quest. If you like, just look through all the desks and whatnot, eventually you'll find technical documents and you can go bring that to him and you can find more. You'll just get paid out. Make some caps. I probably won't even bother. We're gonna lockpick this door. Sweet. Grab a mini nuke. Remain vigilant. This place perfect. And then we have a U.S. covert operations manual. This may appear abandoned. So we're getting sneakier little by little. Guard. Grab the Fort Strong key. All that does is make sure that you can open up all the doors in Fort Strong without having to lockpick them. But our lockpick is essentially maxed out, so I don't think that's going to be a problem. The only other thing that we could do for lockpicking is make our lockpicks uh, unbreakable. But I feel like that's a little immersion breaking, so I never get it. Let's uh, take the elevator down. Paladin Dance will probably spawn in front of us. Who knows? Yep, there he goes. Let's take a little bit of Radex. We can get irradiated in here, so. We should search this area carefully for any technical documentation or. Someone there? What? Who's there? Oh, you bastard! Be a Dirty rat bastard! Must have been nothing. Yeah, go ahead, meet. Yes, please. Is 
There's going to be a few more over here. Be careful. It can overwhelm you really quick. Especially the guy with the rocket launcher. Good work. Don't leave anything behind. Let's go talk to Paladin Dance now. We don't have to crouch anymore. And then after we talk to Paladin Dance, we will be heading back to the Pridwin. Paladin Dance. Look at this place. You must hate these mutants as much as I do. Why do you hate super mutants so much? They're responsible for the death of a close friend, a brotherhood knight named Cutler. So when you ask if I hate them, I say hate's too gentle a word. These monstrosities are just another example of man blindly taking a step forward only to wind up stumbling two steps back. I've been fighting for years, trying to put a stop to this madness. And just when I thought we were getting the upper hand, along come the synths. I've seen what these super mutants do to people. Can you imagine what the synths would do to us if they ever got the upper hand? It would be Armageddon repeated, and maybe the end of everything that we hold dear. <sighs> Look, I don't mean to bore you with my rhetoric. I just want you to understand how important these missions are. Don't apologize. It reminds me why I'm doing this. Thank you, brother. It's good to know you're taking my advice to heart. Anyway, that's enough of that. What's important here is that you got the job done and secured these warheads. You should head back up to the Pridwin and talk to Maxon. I'm sure he'll want to debrief you as soon as possible. Dismissed. We're going to go back to the elevator. Pretty easy mission. I mean, just taking out uh, super mutants. So by this point, super mutants shouldn't be that big of a threat. Um, honestly, I don't think much of anything is really a threat at this point. You should head back to the Pridwin. I'll take you should head back to the Pridwin. I'll take care of the shells and the mess. <laughs> All right, Paladin Dance. Let's go into our pit boy and then we're going to head over to the Pridwin. We can put our gun away. So you're the new knight I heard about? Outstanding work at Fort Strong, soldier. It was an honor fighting for the Brotherhood. I'm glad you feel that way. Because our mission here has only just begun. In order to bring the Institute to its knees, we need to use every weapon at our disposal. I try to supply my soldiers with the best. That's why I'm giving you these. Signal grenades can call a vertebrate to your location when you need aerial transport. Simply throw one to the ground, and the vertebrate will hone in on the unique electromagnetic smoke it emits. Once you're aboard, use the map on your pit boy to interface with the pilot's navigation system, so he'll be able to take you wherever you need. Thank you, Elder. I'll make good use of them. I expect that you will. Now, I'm sure you're aware that Fort Strong was simply the first step towards the liberation of the Commonwealth. An even greater task lies ahead. By now, I'm sure you've deduced that our arrival in the Commonwealth wasn't coincidental. We're here because of a unique energy reading recorded by Paladin Dance's recon team. According to our scribes, the reading indicated a level of technology that only the Institute could achieve. The moment this information came to light, our mission became clear. The Institute, and everyone responsible for the creation of the synths, must be eliminated at all costs. To accomplish this goal, we need to locate the Institute's headquarters. I've had our scribes meticulously searching the Commonwealth, but they've come up empty-handed. Anything you need, Elder. You just say the word. I want you to get out there and become our eyes and ears on the ground. You seem to have a vested interest in locating the Institute before we met, so I'm confident you'll travel in the right circles. If you discover a way in, 
I need you to report it to me immediately. Any questions, Knight? Not right now, Elder. Very well, then. Dismissed. Let's head back down to the Boston airport. Ugh, my list of maintenance fixes keeps getting longer and longer. And then we will end the video as soon as we get outside here. And then when we come back, we will continue on our journey. Like always, everybody, I want to tell you all thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.